Gaming is often about wishful thinking and the inevitable despondency which follows. This then is our briefing document for 2015, full of games that we want to see in the coming year of probably disappointment. And if we get to December and this list is all wrong, you have our permission to point and laugh. First up, it's Fallout 4. It's been more than four years since the Obsidian developed Fallout New Vegas. During this time, we've had leaks and supposed semi-announcements, including whispers about Boston, Massachusetts, and tweets from Three Dogs voice actor. Sadly, virtually all of these have been revealed as hoaxes. A next-gen romp filled with Pip-Boys, mutants, and nukes would practically sell itself. Will we see it this year? No. In my heart, I have but one desire. Dishonored 2's existence is either the worst kept secret in gaming or a convincing ruse conceived by dickish gamers. Fact sheets and logos have leaked, all hinting at an imminent reveal, but we've heard nothing from Bethesda. That none of it is true doesn't change the fact that we would kill, stealthily of course, for another chance to possess rats in the stark, steampunk world of Dunwall. Maybe it's the way that the pre-sequel feels like an expansion rather than a true addition, or maybe Destiny has awoken the loot-driven centre of our brains, but we're jonesing for a proper new-gen sequel set in the desert hellscape of Pandora. Borderlands has always looked phenomenal, but imagine the visual upgrade when we get it running on the latest consoles. More characters, more wacky scenarios, more delicious loot. Borderlands 3 could be something extraordinary. Next, we've got Red Dead Redemption 2. Rockstar wouldn't even have to innovate much to make a new Red Dead worth playing. A new story, new location and better visuals are a given. We'd also be happy if they ripped the shooting mechanics from Grand Theft Auto V and overhauled Redemption's surprisingly decent multiplayer. Heck, why not throw in a Native American backstory complete with shamanistic shapeshifting from the new gen version of GTA. The work's practically done already, except, you know, that it isn't and that we're not getting this. Lying, cheating, degenerate can prosper. The Metroid Pride games aren't just fantastic entries in one of the greatest sci-fi series to grace the medium, they're also some of the finest adventures that you'll ever get the chance to play. Now imagine exploring lush alien planets and fighting Craig, Ridley and Mother Brain in glorious 1080p at 60 frames per second. Now stop imagining it, because we won't see it this year. A quick breather before we move on to the next one, just to consider the possibility of a remake of Final Fantasy. Ah, oh, it's not happening, is it? Next, we want a proper 3D Mario game. While there's absolutely nothing wrong with Super Mario 3D World, we prefer the full-scale adventure of Super Mario Galaxy 2. If Nintendo is to announce a new Super Mario game in 2015, it needs to be a proper successor to the three-dimensional lineage started by Super Mario 64, with the grand scale of Super Mario Galaxy and the interconnectivity of Super Mario Sunshine. Most of all, it needs to push the series forward in a way that we've never seen before. And if that sounds like a big ask, it's because it is, but we're asking anyway. The next thing we won't see is a Star Wars space sim. Between the massive crowdfunding success of Star Citizen and the fervour behind other games like Elite Dangerous and No Man's Sky, now is the perfect time to hop back into our X-Wings and take down the Death Star. Is Disney gauging interest in a return to a galaxy far, far away? Probably not, but at least we're getting a new Star Wars Battlefront. President and Creative Director of Double Fine, Mr. Tim Schafer. Next, we've got more remastered LucasArts games. With the new version of Grim Fandango upon us, a new generation can now experience one of the finest adventure games ever made. 
Tim of Legend Schaefer then announced at the PlayStation Experience that the equally memorable Day of the Tentacle would be getting similar treatment. Can we expect Sam and Max hit the road, full throttle, the curse of Monkey Island and Indiana Jones and the fate of freaking Atlantis? Unlikely. But we're crossing fingers and toes in doomed anticipation. The last one was technically four games, so here's a quickie. Half-Life 3. No, just no. No. When I was a kid, I used to spend a lot of time imagining who would win when my toys got into a fight. Sometimes, Our next request is for a game that uses Amiibo in a meaningful way. That's not to say that unlocking a new outfit in Mario Kart or watching toys do battle in Super Smash Bros. isn't cool, it's just not enough of a reason to make us keep buying them. What we need from Nintendo is an excuse to keep spending money which feels more tangible than just virtual cockfighting. There are many different ways to engage these characters in battle. Next on our wish list of numbing inevitability is Yakuza Ishin. After the zombie-themed spin-off Yakuza Dead Souls tanked, we understandably didn't get Yakuza 5 or the next-gen samurai era Yakuza Ishin. 2015 is a new year, and Sony has stepped up to bring Yakuza 5 to the digital shores of North America. Does this mean that there's a future for dancing, swordplay and noodle cooking in feudal Japan? We hope so, but also probably not. Makoto Nike and I'm a new student here at Hope's Peak Academy. I'm just your everyday teenager who was lucky enough to be invited to this prestigious school. On a similar note, we've got Danganronpa another episode. The Danganronpa games are essentially visual novels, less about dating random high schoolers than they are about solving murders while a maniacal teddy bear cackles at your misery. You know, the usual. Japanese gamers have been enjoying the spin-off-ish pre-sequel since September last year, and by all accounts, it's just as diabolical as the rest. Will despair-addicted Westerners get to experience it? Despairingly, probably not. Penniless vermin, you're damaging the esteemed ears of Byakuya Togami! And finally, this wouldn't be a list of games that we know we won't see, unless it included The Last Guardian. And let's leave it there. That was a pretty sweet video, right? If you want to see more, go to Games Radar's YouTube page over here. Or if you want to read, maybe up your game a little bit, go to gamesradar.com.